let's discuss the case of overloading with string string buffer argument imagine you have a simple class main and let's say you have one print method where string is argument again another print method where int is argument so we can clearly see that this is a overloading because two same name method however the arguments are different right so let's say i am having one sop into my from string and one sop into from int as well now let's say if i create you know object so let's say if i have main dot print now we can see that print int a and print string a both are available to call so let's say if i pass 10 out of this so we can see that first always it looks for exact match and exact match is int right so the output would be from int but now let's say if instead of 10 if i pass null then output would be from string because it always looks for exact match and exact match is string string can accept null till now everything is very simple but imagine if i have something like this object okay now let's say if i pass this null we see that a string can accept null we see that object can accept the null so in this case what would be the output and why to understand this first let me tell you the answer of this so output would be from a string let me show you and then i will tell you why so you can see that from string is the output and reason of this answer was this type of overloading question we always solve with the concept of hierarchy as you can clearly see this image we have object on the top while a string is the child of that and there are some other components as well always remember in these type of cases priority always goes to most specific one and string is most specific argument here in the hierarchy object is a parent a string is most specific therefore from a string is the output because out of a string and object a string is most specific which can accept this null or we say for this null exact match is a string because it is a specific one among the hierarchy but let's say if you have a case something like this so let's say if i have one more method then what would be the output in this case like you can see i am passing null i have just commented just to test your knowledge as well imagine if you have this string string buffer and object and now i am trying to pass null then we can see object can accept null happily we can see string buffer can accept this null happily and this string can also accept null happily but you will say that we have just learned that null always goes for a exact match or a most specific one so let's say okay i understand that in earlier case a string was most specific one but what about between a string and a string buffer let's see the hierarchy first if you see this hierarchy you can clearly see with respect to that program as well that we have object string and string buffer so between object and string we are clear that a string is specific between object and string buffer as well we are clear that a string buffer is specific but what about this string and string buffer who will accept null among these two so according to you what would be the answer from a string or from a string buffer basically this is error you can see this is ambiguity in fact if you see uh, compilation issue is unresolved compilation problem now this null is giving you unresolved compilation problem or you can say ambiguity between a string and a string buffer and the reason is this is string and this is string buffer both lies at the same level under this object so when you see that any argument is being passed where two or more than two methods can accept that argument at same level ambiguity would be the answer let me tell you one interesting story there was a family of dr rajveer and he has his one son sonu one day one neighbor of dr rajveer came with one gift he saw there is a child in rajveer home so he gave this gift to sonu rajveer got his second son called bholi now he has two children sonu and bholi and when next time this neighbor came to 
डॉक्टर राजवीर फैमिली ही फाउंड देयर इज वन मोर चाइल्ड कॉल्ड भोली सो नेबर गॉट कंफ्यूज एज बोथ दी चिल्ड्रन आर एलिजिबल टू एक्सेप्ट दिस गिफ्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ डायलेमा वी कॉल्ड एम्बिगिटी वेन यू फाइंड टू एंटिटीज एट द सेम लेवल आर एलिजिबल टू एक्सेप्ट होप यू रिमेम्बर दिस वॉज योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन and this was my answer like we have string most specific with respect to object that's why from string is the output and this was my first story about rajveer where sonu accept the gift happily from neighbor and this story is linked to this question imagine your dr rajveer was object your sonu was string your neighbor was jvm and his gift was argument which is carrying by jvm now if you try to compare this first case with the hierarchy and the story i told definitely you will get a better understanding of how internally things work and now let me take you on to the next example this was our second case where when we pass null from main and call the print method we got ambiguity unresolved compilation problem and reason i explain string and string buffer both lies at same level so jvm gets confused to resolve to whom actually it should give null you can relate second part of story where rajveer had two children and neighbor was confused because at same level he found two children the same way jvm found string and string buffer and hence it gave compilation issue thank you so much just listen the story of rajveer again and you will clearly get the working of jvm in method overload